hey y'all so i asked you guys what you wanted to see on this week's video so i decided to do an everyday makeup routine and to start off i'm gonna do the heatless curls method so basically i'm going to apply the loc method l stands for leave in conditioner and then proceeding with the oil to moisten the hair and finally letter c which stands for leave-in cream what i'm basically doing here is i'm applying the product in the hair with an upward motion to make it intact i also want to apply a bit of the extreme hold product which i got from bench this ensures that we conceal the hair and that it'll hold the hair for at least five to eight hours So moving on to my skincare routine, I usually start with a toner and a toner's job is meant to gently refresh your skin without stripping it of its natural moisture. This means a toner won't irritate sensitive skin or cause excessive dryness. To improve my skin's hydration, I use Avene Hydrans Hydrating Aqua Cream in Gel. In the morning, I apply it to the neck, to the face, and especially I contour. To save on skincare, dermatologists recommended using petroleum jelly to relieve dry skin, including your lips. What I like most about this sunscreen in all day 50 plus SPF is that it provides a long lasting protection even for very sensitive skin and skin prone to allergies. It protects, moisturizes, and regenerates. Okay, moving on to the makeup routine. I use this vegan super blendable formula instantly. Helps brighten, smooth, and give the skin a firmer and more lifted look. I am using this Tarte Cosmetics I got from Sephora just to cover up the dark spots on my face. For powder, I'm using this Max Factor Facefinity Compact Matte Foundation in warm porcelain and it blends really well on the face. Now this foundation provides a complete but subtle natural looking coverage. Also what I like using about this product is that it's very easy to blend out that I don't take so much time compared to using a liquid foundation. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm using this angle brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills I got from Sephora. And as you can see, I'm using this MAC liquid cleanser just to take off the excess product. I have been using this product for years and it's really nice. My shade is in soft brown. To start with, as you can see, I put a dot on the upper corner of my left eyebrows afterwards i'm going to trace it and continue filling in the brows until i get the shape that i want i'm doing the same steps in my right eyebrow and basically just tracing it out and filling it to make sure that it is the same as my left eyebrows now you have to remember that eyebrows aren't twins they're sisters I'm using this Legendary Brows from Charlotte Tilbury and I've been loving it for so many years now and it is a lightweight brow gel that sets the brow with a flexible hold in a tinted finish. This fully pigmented formula features light reflecting pearls that create natural looking dimension to your finished brow look. I'm just using this concealer to clean up the excess product from the upper brows and the lower brows to make it a perfect looking brows. Next, I'm using the YSL liner to top the lash line, winging it out to make a cut eye look. As you can see, I am also putting it in the inner corners of the eye to make a sharper look. For a super volumizing mascara for the ultimate Hollywood flutter and a wide awake look, I am using this Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, when I apply a double coat mascara on the top of my lashes, it sort of like mimics the false lashes that you put on your eyes. 
again i'm just adding a couple more on my lower lashes to make a wide effect eye look i'm using the kat von d beauty shade in a refillable matte face contour palette with three shades for contouring and three shades for highlighting i basically used the one in the middle to match my face and now i'm just blending to the contours of my cheek again i'm going in with the bronzer by using a small angled brush to highlight the contours of my nose as you can see i'm also tapping in excess products from the brush so that it won't look as heavy as I want it to be. Using this pinkish shade from Charlotte Tilbury in Love Glow, I am basically applying it to the apples of my cheek and blending it afterwards. As you can see, I'm just putting this tissue on my mouth just to take off any excess moisture and put on the Giorgio Armani lipstick that I really love. It's in a matte finish and it doesn't dry out the lips, which I really love. I've been using it for more than a few years now. So this is the finished look of my everyday makeup routine going to college and that is pretty much it. It's very basic, it's kind of like a summery glow and I put a bit of eyeliner which I want to emphasize a large eye and a bigger lift than usual because of the lipstick that made it look more pouty which is the Giorgio Armani lipstick in 523 shade. I have a natural curly hair and it really holds up to an extreme because of this product right here. It's called Fix Hair Gel by Bench. I'm sending you all muchos besos y abrazos and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.